Hey, getting you a little update. We're excited to see you on Friday. Show you all the things Archie's been doing. So um, every morning we get him out on a walk and uh, we work on a lot of his obedience and his focus. So I really want to work on focus and impulse control with him and all situations and scenarios because that's going to help him be just all all a better dog all around so um i've talked a lot about the focus on the walk that i'm it's more than just the position it's also where his mindset is at too and so i want to show you some exercises um it might kind of push push him out of his comfort zone a little bit and also working on some impulse control so i like coming to this park when the kids are at school because we can work on some things like being he's like what are we doing guys <laughs> Archie down I'm gonna test him here see if he can lay down Archie down good boy doesn't super want to lay down on this floor but it's really important that we follow through when he doesn't necessarily want to do something we're asking so right now the reason is is because it's new it's foreign um i'm gonna leave him here and work on a down stay and he knows that we're gonna work a little bit on some come down here some uh impulse control away from me by doing a, a down stay good job buddy he's like waiting waiting so patiently to be released um but i want to talk about how to follow through when he doesn't want to do something so what i notice with him is when he doesn't want to do something for whatever reason maybe it's he wants to go play with a dog instead of going to the place bed maybe it's he doesn't want to down on a strange surface like he's doing here maybe the the neighbor comes over and he doesn't want to wait at the door whatever the case may be and whatever the reason it's really important to follow through and sometimes with him i see what we call appeasement behaviors where he'll kind of do things like is this good enough or he'll seek affection from um, me or my husband kind of do a little parent shopping um, and so it's really important that a other people ignore him and let the person working with him follow through and b the person following through actually follows through and doesn't um doesn't change their training style or um like kind of pet him when he's doing this appeasement behavior the tendency what we want to do is when we pet him we're trying to make him feel better about doing the obedience and I understand where that's coming from but he doesn't so we understand what we're trying to do and we're trying to be kind and he but he doesn't understand that he understands okay like I win a little bit by towing the line and not not having to do the obedience and so that can be that can become very conflicting for him in the long run by rewarding that appeasement behaviors hopefully that makes sense so we'll talk more about this on Friday when you guys come so generally like he does everything I ask pretty well it's just when there's something new or a distraction or maybe he's nervous by a car or whatever I mean he doesn't get nervous often but every once in a while um, like if there's just a reason for him not wanting to do something he'll come out in front and wag his tail and like almost seek affection like hey like no we can be buddies I don't have to do this right and so um, the tendency there would be to reach down and pet him and say it's okay but you're still going to do it anyway so it's important that we follow through and then we say it's okay I know that this is hard but good job for doing it we have to change our mindset a little bit with him good job buddy yeah okay okay it's like are you sure <laughs> are you sure we're gonna come up here and do it up here this one's a little bit harder because we're higher archie down good so because sorry there's a truck passing because i've been falling through on a lot of stuff with this this morning he doesn't push me on anything now i can come in and say it's okay buddy i know it's hard but you're doing it um and so we're we're petting the behavior we like also understanding that it's uncomfortable for him. Um, good job, but it's important, okay, it's important to follow through first before we give any kind of affection. Um, and that requires kind of us to train our own brains because it's human nature 
to want to comfort when we see discomfort. So, um, but I promise that if you guys do this with him, the more confident he's going to be in the obedience because he's pretty confident and he's pretty social, but it's coming from, you're going to give me affection and that feels good to me. And I'm confident in that. But if I'm uncomfortable by something, I'm not necessarily confident in the obedience that it's going to see me through this. Good job, buddy. Um, and so that's where he can get a little bit lackluster and, you know, and kind of some of the stuff that you're seeing where he may just like get up on the couch with friends and totally just be like in the mix of it all. And you're like, nobody would be way better if you went to place and not sit on everybody. Um, and so it's because he's so confident in the the affection and, and all of that stuff. And that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying affection is bad. It's just when we do it, why we do it is really important for him. And he kind of sometimes will pout when I don't give in. So if I were to like, let's say I were to tell him to sit and he didn't want to sit for whatever reason, he came in front heel instead of next to me on the heel and then was like, oh, but like, will you love me instead of doing that? So the, what I would do is follow through. And sometimes I've seen him kind of pout like, oh my gosh, you didn't, you didn't give me the affection when I demanded for it. And, uh, and so, yeah, those are some things that we'll just need to, to work on at home as well. Make sure he's not testing boundaries in that way. Um, but he's been doing really great. Like he's a friendly social guy. And so we want to keep him that way, but we also don't want him to use it to get out of the obedience. So anyway, good job, buddy boy.